There's the guts of an Arctic Cove MAC-119 battery charger. It's just a little pocket charger that comes with the Arctic Cove misting bucket top fan, whatchamacallit. And, um, quite simple, even though it looks a bit complicated on the surface. Uh, just a microcontroller for battery charge management. It's an Atmel ATtiny 25V. And there's a little five standard simple microcontroller. That device right there, which I suspect is probably that um thing right there, I'm suspecting that's probably a potential regulator for the microcontroller. A couple transistors over here. There's this funky little leadless carrier device right there. That is most likely the actual um current switch for um deciding whether the battery charges or not, there's probably some kind of inherent current limiting built into the charge, built into the power supply for this thing. Just a little bog standard, um, well probably not bog standard, there's probably some extra um, uh, control stuff in it just for battery charging. That's a little plug-in power supply. Um, there's also yeah, just uh, some other transistors. I would imagine probably some of that is just a discreetly implemented um, FET driver, because considering that that's just a um, an on-off switch, there isn't any kind of nothing really that would justify the expense of a proper FET driver. I see little um, one ampere PCB mount fuse just to um, keep the battery from blowing up if any of this short circuits. Uh, T1 and 3 quarters super bright LED, that's just the idiot light, and not a whole lot else. Then there's just these half dozen pins, which are a spy connection. I'm um, just judging by the silk screen, um, you know, seal clock, mosi, miso, mosi, ground, etc. That's just, uh, I'd imagine, most likely for in circuit programming and verification, unless there's versions of this that have other stuff tacked onto that. But I don't know why exactly they need it. A little date code. Or just the date code. It's uh, week 2, 2014. Obviously they had a whole bunch of these sitting around. And given how beat up the box was. These are probably ones that went on sale last year. Didn't sell because last year was so bloody cold. And now they're just trying to get rid of them for 50 bucks a piece this year. So yeah, And then there's just a load of bits in the solder mask where there's no... Um, where they're just holding the solder mask over pads, that's just for a bed of nails tester. And a diode for anti-back feeding. I'd imagine just so that the power supply isn't back fed by the battery when the thing isn't plugged in with this just being left on the battery. So yeah, that's the thing.